Welcome to Will at Work, I'm Kevin. Today we're looking at Video Pinball, model C380. Not quite sure if there's actually other models of Video Pinball, other than, the, you know, Atari did license it to Sears with their Pinball Breakaway. Uh, we did look at that, and I believe that the systems are identical, uh, like a lot of Atari licenses to Sears. We do have the original power supply. Outputs at uh, 9 volts, 500 milliamps. Uh, but um, I wanted to, well, obviously, the purpose of this show is to find out if things work. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, you know, one that we haven't tested out yet, so we're going to do that. And I am going to add it to the collection as a separate console, but I, I could totally understand, like, the... Um, uh, discrepancy in the sense of it's the same console with a different name and, and therefore it should all be lumped together into one thing I don't disagree with that but since I'm uh, already going down this road and I didn't separate like links one from links two and that kind of thing I'm gonna separate this one and we can all just forgive on the uh, on the count on that one uh, and it may not work and if it doesn't work then we won't count it at all uh, so what I'm gonna do here we have the reset select option power and uh, ball serve and this will be the um, for the breakout now what should be interesting is that when we first did this I had uh, on the Sears pinball breakaways I had a hard time with the video signal we could not get color if you've looked at uh, a lot of the videos if you've been following the series uh, I think we're gonna have a much better uh, go at this because I've got um, things set up a lot better now so soon it sounds like it works Assuming it's working okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, switch over to the video side and we'll take a look and talk about it. And um, yeah, Video Pinball from Atari. Here we go. Okay, we're looking at uh, Video Pinball from Atari. Uh, and one thing that's not right about this particular unit is that I have to hold the power button down to keep it on. Uh, I put a big battery on top of it and uh, we'll see if that allows us to make it work uh, <clears throat> and not shut off while we're trying to play it. Um, so let's go, um, let's do option. Okay, that looks like we're in the pinball mode. Let's try the flipper left. That works. Flipper right works. Got a good color signal here. I'm, I'm kind of glad. Power button being screwed up, but whatever. Let's see if we can get the ball to come out. Still, you see the ball on the right hand side, so I'm not quite sure how the ball uh, even gets here. Let's press option. Probably one to four players is what I'm thinking. Let's hit reset. There it goes. But now I lost the flippers. What's even going on here? They're different uh, things. That's the breakout, the basketball. Let's try and get this to. There we go. Oh, that sucked. Woo! Not good. Hey, the ball flew off the screen. It's funny. A little glitch there. All right, let's reset. So it looks like the buttons are just... Everything needs to just be cleaned, which is to be expected, and that's okay. This is a kind of a dirty unit, but it's nice that the signal's nice and clear and it works. Cleaning off the contacts on the buttons, you know, opening it up, no big deal. What I really ought to do after this whole series is over, is go back through a lot of these consoles and, and clean them up, refurb, refurb, refurbish them, and get them as close to 100% as possible. It all depends on how much time I have to do things like that, but uh, maybe one day. Let's try the breakout so we can try the uh, paddle controller. I 
I see it down there on the bottom. There it goes. This is the basketball. Let's do, there we go. Let's see if we can get the ball to come out. This is like probably the, the lowest difficulty, which is probably what I need. Uh, so the control is a little choppy. You can see it kind of jiggling. That's not me. Uh, that's just because it's dirty. Let's kind of wonder like how these consoles get so dirty. I can understand the fingerprint kind of, you know, cookie crumbs, Cheetos, fingers all over it kind of thing. But some of these things usually look like they've been in like, um, they've been used like as an oil pan in a garage or something. It's crazy. I don't know. It's just how people take care of their electronics, I guess. It's amazing you get these things after 30 some years. So can't complain. 40 years, actually. Anyway, video pinball that works. I won't spend any more time on it. Uh, that's what it normally looks like when it's in color. So now we all have a good idea of how that is. And uh, yeah, it's a keeper. Uh, definitely needs to be cleaned up, though, and the buttons reworked. Thanks for watching.